and uh, lead himself where he can still attack. Oh, how we love the Asia Talent Cup. We have just several kilometres to go now. Five and a half kilometres, 3.4 miles left and counting. This is turn three for the last time. And it's Agura out in front from Izdahar. And I have to say, it's impossible not to be impressed by Agura all the way through this season. Really aggressive rider. And uh, he finds a way to get through to that front. But Izdahar gets down underneath him into turn four. Now we're going to go up the hill towards turn five. The track falls away from you here. Very difficult corner for the rider. We see a lot of crashes here over the years. But all of the leaders have been able to get through it. And they've got half a lap. And it's all going to come down to if anyone can try and make a move into turn nine, into the hairpin. And then into the final corner. John at the back as well, Steve, at turn 15 with lost Dennis Unsu and Bahatin Safoglu from the race. So I don't know whether they've come together. At the moment, there are yellow flags waving at turn 15. You would imagine they will be gone when this group gets over there in about 45 seconds' time. But it's Istaha with the advantage. Up the inside is coming now Agura. Number 12 in the background is Yamanaka. It is still Istaha with the advantage. Around the outside comes Masaki trying to repay the favour of a few moments ago. Niam Sakonsible, by the way, a very, very quick shout out for him. is into the points after that collision. And you can see now Izdahar has opened up a gap of a couple of tenths. And the next couple of corners are crucial for Agur. So they can get himself closer to him for that uh, slipstream down the final, uh, down the penultimate straight into the final corner. This is exactly what Izdahar was planning to do. This would be a second consecutive win if he can pull it off. They're coming into the crucial turn 14 for the last time. Now then, there are just 850 metres between turn 14 and turn 15. Look at the lead though for Andy Izdahar. Surely, unless anything goes catastrophically wrong this will be the first repeat win of 2016 on the inside line we were expecting that is the with the advantage only a mistake now would roll him out of winning this race it's a really very tight line really defensive line there from is and it actually forced agora to stand himself up and uh, we've seen loads of changes there then to the three but is the is going to take the win yamanak is going to be in second and then third as we cross the line is uh, Jerry Salim, the championship leader, and Salim will, conti will continue to lead that championship with Chanter in fourth, closing into six points off in the championship. But really exciting race there, Greg. And now in the battle in the second group, you can see here that uh, it's Sugawara that's going to take it. Just about to look at the battle for ninth. Who's going to take ninth? Kairidin past Kanunsu as they cross the line. Kawasaki, by the looks of things, will be in 11th from Ikmal Yansin Law and then Niam Sakonsigal. Only 15 finishes in the race then. More high attrition. Nine riders failed to finish race two here last year in this mid-season group. But what an absolutely remarkable race again. And Andy Izdaha, he's done it again. He sat at the back of the group for much of the race in seventh position. Surveyed everything going on. Congratulations there from Jerry Salim, who, as you say, maintains the cup lead. And it's actually increased. It's doubled from three to four points. But that doesn't matter right now because Andy Izdaha becomes the first repeat winner of 2016.